Hey everybody, in this episode Scott coming to you guys with part 12 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So, we have three levels left to do before the final boss, so I thought we'd do the two robot levels first. So we'll do Robotica Farms, and then Metropolis, in the next episode we'll do Cloud Temples. Cloud Temples or Cloud Temple? Yeah, so the gimmick here is there's a bunch of farmers that are under fire, or I guess under siege, from a bunch of robotic insects. Robotic farmers and robotic insects. Makes sense, right? Anyways, let's talk to him to see what's up. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more invading pests. I kind of like how they gave him like um, a slightly digital tone to their voice. This level's another one though that could be really hard to find the green gems in the grass because for some reason they made the grass in this game really tall, unlike other... I think even Spyro 3 doesn't have grass that tall. I don't know what they were thinking, but they were just like, let's make super tall grass. Marie, get out of the way, this isn't Pokemon, shoo. Now, where do we want to go? I guess just across the bridge with the windmill and the bug? And he died. A horrible fate. Also, for these guys, you want to charge into him, and then you want to head bash him. Also, for some reason... Um... My computer made everything loud in my ear again, so I'm going to have to turn it down a little bit. I know you guys can still hear it pretty well, so don't don't worry about not being able to hear the game anymore. But it's better than hearing the game too much, right, and getting blasted out of existence. See what I mean about these green gems, though? Like, that green gem was pretty darn hidden. Now, wherever these bee guys, there should be, like, corn balls that you can grab. Luckily, in this game, your spit homes in on enemies for whatever reason. So it's like super easy to actually kill the aerial enemies, unlike the original game, which was a lot more difficult. Simply because your shots didn't home in on the enemies. Don't know why they decided to do that in the remake, but they did. Now I think we got everything down here, right? Yeah, Sparks is pointing upward, so let's go up here. Uh, no we didn't get everything, Sparks, you lying little SOB. There were th three gems down there. Or at least three currency worth of really how'd you miss the most obvious shot in existence also how'd that one hit considering it didn't actually hit okay i'll just kill myself uh i knew there was a sh wasn't there a sheep around here oh, i thought i could seen a sheep oh you're a joke and this beetle thing has got to go to. Oh. Where did you come from, Bumblebee? Bee? Or are they wasps? Hopefully they're not bumblebees. Bumblebees are cool. Same with honeybees. But wasps, they can go. They're just big jerkwads, man. As seen in Spiral the Dragon. Okay, what is this bug brain doing over here? Oh yeah, and you can technically flame them too. They're, they're not that strong. Okay, there's the elevator. Thought the elevator was never gonna come down. Head bash. Head bash. You know, it's always disappointing how little you actually use this ability in like every Spyro game ever, though. Like, it's just so not used enough for being a cool idea, just kind of pointless, you know? 
Now, we don't really need to talk to this guy. All you have to do is you have to go and flame these little insectoid sapsuckers. Like that. And we already killed three. And we already got them all. That was easy. My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. I done dug up yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, that means there's two more orbs here. Because I n know how many there are. And there's three. But now we can go back over here and check to make sure we didn't miss anything in the uh, fields. And by the way, those enemies respawn. No idea why. Considering it was a challenge and you beat it, they just come back. They did that in the original too. That don't don't think that was like a remake oversight or something. No, this is how they were. And how they've always been. It's just kind of weird. You know? I don't like you, B. So, please leave. Alright, let's uh, see if we can finish everything here now. We're getting pretty close to being done the level. And I somehow missed that guy. Man, he's aggressive. Do you hear him shooting at us? There we go. I still find it funny that you shoot literal corn at the enemy. Just, just balls of corn. Aw, oh, right in the stinger, buddy. Man, just the... Wait, was it... Oh, it was... I thought there was literally just one gem in this little area where enemies just kind of bombarding you. And your weird, creepy sound effects are dead. Also, apologize if you can hear that vehicle just, like, flooring it in the background. Don't know why people have to drive like they're morons, but they do. And there's no stopping idiots. Alright, all that for two gems and an enemy, really? Seems a little counterintuitive. But whatever. Okay, so now we just gotta time this properly. And boom! This should be the end of the level. Thanks, game. Thanks for just not hovering. I know you love me so much that you're gonna let me hover this time, right? Thank you. And I believe that's the final enemy, right? I think that's the final enemy. Anyways, let's just make sure we don't miss anything else. Like these three green gems just tucked behind a ledge. Oh, here's clearly the exit level, and he's wearing pink. Oh my god, that's, that's some bright pink. My eyeballs are sore today, so the bright pink actually kind of hurts the eyes. Nothing against pink, just, uh, yeah, this is a little bright, don't you think? Oh, yeah, we got this thing. Like I said, the mystery vases, like, they abuse them a lot in this game. Oh, poop. Poop, poop. Aw, oh, man, we're gonna have to backtrack. And it, since I technically didn't beat the level, I didn't get the whirlwind. That's a bummer. I'm just wasting time at this point. Anyways, let's go back up. I really do feel like this level, though, is really odd for a spiral level and for being one of the final levels in the game. Anyways, let's grab this before we go down there again. Won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Yes, give me your orb, thank you very much. Nice. Right, now let's go do the super tur wait a minute. Wait. How did I forget all this down here? I literally just straight up forgot gems and enemies all in one area, really? I'm so confused how I missed all of that. Also, I did see this green gem over here. Like, sheesh, how did I miss that? I don't think I've ever missed those gems before. Luckily, it wasn't that bad, because... Technically, we didn't really have to backtrack much, but... St Wait, why is it not jumping? 
I'm having issues with it jumping, which are what's screwing with me. Also, why is that world? Really? It's gotta be where I have my Xbox sitting. Anyway, let's describe this. We'll go and do this to get this out of the way. Okay, that's back in the electric water fields, I guess, which is just right over here. Also, this level's really weird because it's not that big of a level. It's actually a pretty small level. Now, where was that one again? Oh, it's right there. And now it's back at the beginning. Also, this doesn't really look like a farm. It looks more like a mini golf course, if anything. Or, I guess... I don't remember it stunning you like that instead of just pushing you, but... Sure, why not? I'll take the big old blow to the noggin. Alright, doesn't look like we have very many gems left. No, we have 12 gems left, and we still have a big chunk of this, uh... Like, supercharged obstacle course to go, so... That should be everything. Just on this pathway. There you go, game. You didn't, uh... Why did it do that again? Did you hear that, too? It just did, like, a... It's like... Something's not registering properly. And I'm not entirely sure what it is that's having issues. But it is... Alright, game. Yeah, see? Like, did you hear that? And there we go, we completed it. One piece of steer and that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. Alright. Thank you, and that should be our final orb. Right, so we're done, right? We can leave now? All orbs collect yod. Level 100% complete yod. Let's go home. So even robot bugs are addicted to light. Kind of weird, don't you think? So it looks like we'll get to 5,900 gems when we beat the game. Weird number to end on. But now we can go check out Metropolis, which is the second robot level. Also, weird thing. My computer just did a restart, right? Like, and applied updates and everything. It changed the background of my computer to another photo I had saved, in, or like another thumbnail I had saved. So it went from part one of my Spiral the Dragon Let's Play to part four of Spiral 2, which is really weird. Okay, that makes total sense. It's just a uh, pig with a rocket. Oh yeah, another cool level with like invisible walls. I always like that about this level. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. What the heck is we on front of my screen? Order. What is that? Inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Weird. For whatever reason, Discord was just like popped up in front of my um my uh recording software on my computer like it didn't block anything for you guys but it was just kind of there yeah 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 with all the budget cuts you're in my way so what you have to do is you actually have to head bash and yeah buttons on my controller just aren't registering properly i've noticed that when i was playing paladins over the weekend too because it was double xp and i was grinding up the new ranked pip skin and stuff like that and yeah, some of my buttons just are very delayed. I don't know if it's just my... Oh yeah, you have to wait for these guys. They actually have shields, but you actually do have to flame them, which is... Um, wait a minute. He hit me and blew up. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely having controller uh, connection issues here. 
Because, like, certain things are just super delayed and stuff. So it's definitely because I have my Xbox facing the wall instead of having the sensor face me. Simply because I don't have anywhere to put it when recording that it won't, like, over... Excuse me, overheat or be in, like, front of the TV or something. Because I usually set it on the table that I use my laptop on when recording, but... Can't do that right now, obviously, because I'm recording here, so... Something I just can't quite do. Anyways, there's this gem thing here. Oh yeah, this is where the first of the four orbs are, by the way. Yeah, biggest level in the game for orbs, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. And here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I would advise using the bombs against it. And it will probably take several bombs at that. Alright, so yeah, that, that's a hint of what you're supposed to do. So you have to flame these bombs and hope that they actually land where you need them to go, because for whatever... Ow, for whatever reason, they don't actually go what direction you're flaming in. Which I always found kind of funny. Uh, I'm not... Okay, why does that one always, like, come back to hit me? There we go. Looks like he's halfway dead now. Like, is it me or is that one homing in on me? Oh, that one should have hit. At least that one hit. Stay away from me, bomb. Wait, that one didn't kill him? Oh, that one killed me, though. I bounced off the wall and landed on my head. Go figure. Just my luck, right? Like, why doesn't that bomb go straight? Like, clearly that's where I'm aiming is straight ahead, so... It's weird they kinda like gotta, like... Thrust it to the side with your flame, like it does not... Add up at all. There we go, we did it, but still. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Ah, visually pleasing reward. Thank you, Mr. Logistics Droid. Now, let's go take the elevator. Since we can't break that, and probably never will, because we're a dragon that has no actual good skills. Just kidding, we'll figure out a way to break it. Actually, I know how to break it. These used to be color-coordinated rooms, by the way, so this one would be green because it had green gems in it. Also, those pigs kind of... and this room would have been red in the original because it had red gems, but for whatever reason, they removed the cool color coordination that they had with rooms, and... Yeah, it kind of ruined that part of the game. There we go. I just wanted to get him killed. Oh yeah, look, these! We haven't really seen much of these in levels, huh? Yeah, like I said, they kind of underutilize certain things. Remember in Enter the Dragonfly, though, where we, like, use the Head Bash ability, I think, once, maybe twice in the entire game? I found that kind of a weird thing to have happen in a video game, but sure. And there we go, this should be the end of the level. Which is, by the way, where three of the orbs are. Yeah, three of the orbs are given by this one robot. Crazy, huh? Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Are you not living just because you're a robot? Weird. Thank you. It's a first for Avalar. A combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Yeah, I used to think Hunter was weird for flying sheep, right? Yeah, no, not so much. Legitimately evil flying sheep. Let's kill them all. Oh yeah, by the way, they can shoot you. You, you aren't invincible. Also, the first part of this challenge is kind of a joke. So I like to use it to kind of collect a bunch of stuff. Also, yeah, this is how you break those, uh... I don't even know what you call them. They're like vases, right? I'm... 
Oh yeah, look at them explode, baby. Anyways, let's just go and kill this last one now. Or I guess technically... What are you doing, Spyro? Uh, I was gonna say, maybe we can collect stuff, but let's do that. Excellent work! You knock those sheep right out of the sky! Take this orb device as proof of your skill. Alright, skill to pay the bills, says Spyro. I knew it! Those first... Yeah, and then we got another wave. This time they added two more. Though, if you're going to be, like, right up each other's butts like that, you're really not going to provide much of a threat. The fact that I already would have beat the first one just like that, because... Can you guys, like, actually, you know, maybe... More than just fly right behind each other? Like, this was not this easy in the original game. Like, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't that easy. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Do I get a million dollars? No, I get an orb. And that's all the orbs, though. Right on, so now we can go and explore everything else and grab the last of the gems. Now, if we did everything right, the last gems that we're going to need to go and collect are going to be the ones that were in the ox area in that glass vase thing they have to blow up. I don't even know what you call them. Like I said, I really don't know if they have a proper name. They're just essentially a vase that requires some kind of higher end exp or higher grade explosive. Good thing I came back down here for that gem. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be precisely 40 in there, so. Hey, that one had a life in it, nice. I'm going to say there's going to be 20 in there, so there should be 7 gems. Maybe? Or is there... What are you doing? Like, why does he keep flying at a weird angle like that? Again, okay, no, I think he's pointing down, so maybe there is going to be oddly 22... Or, uh, 22. Yeah, 22 gems. Yeah, because they're only pointing down there now. Which means you need to take this one. And sadly, you can't speed this, like, part up. And you do honestly have to take this. Like, you cannot actually fly there. So, there we go. Now we can, now we can fly. Oh, maybe. There were exactly... Okay. Wow. Honestly, this episode didn't take as long to complete two levels as I thought it was. I'm pretty sure Cloud Temples takes the longest, despite technically having the same amount of collectibles as uh, Robotica Farms. Anyways, we can just leave now. Goodbye. Well, he, um, kind of blew up. Kind of evil, don't you think? Kind of dark. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be taking on the very last level before the final boss of the game, known as Cloud Temples. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.